Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review Governor. This is Starfighter 3 Empires. This is from Task Force Games. It's an expansion. I got it at Little Wars. Probably paid a little too much for it. I paid like 20 bucks, but looks like it's unplayed. This is just an expansion, so I don't believe this one has any counters in it. I think you just use the components from uh, Starfighter, Starfire 1 and Starfighter, Starfire 2. So let's see what this is about. Empires gives players the full range of str strategic starfire, including rules to create warp lines, solar systems, alien races, cultures, and populations, and even different planetary atmospheres. Additional rules cover alliances, home race reactions, and even rebellions in your home empire. An entire e economic system is created in which players design and build huge fleets and try to disrupt the enemy's shipping, cut its supply lines and capture his merchant fleets. Also included are new ships and new rules and weapon systems, all of which enhance the basic combat system of Starfire. And here it says it's not a standalone system. You must have a copy of Starfire in order to use this. A uh, copy of Starfighter, Starfire 2 is also helpful, but not essential. So let's see what's in here. All right, it has a little, very small map here. I don't know if these are warp points or wormholes or what these are. These are real tiny hexes. You couldn't put a really could put a counter there, as far as I know. So I would assume you just use the map from the other games. Anything else in here? Or just a book. Yeah, just a book. So let's go through there real quick. A oh, galactic hex chart. Oh, it says the galactic hex chart is a means of showing the relative positions of the systems in the galaxies. Oh, okay, so those are star systems. Gotcha. Alright, sequence of play. Looks like it's different for this one. Exploitation phase, which occurs every other turn. Production phase. Fleet orders phase. Movement phase. New system generation phase. Combat phase. Revolution check phase. And record keeping phase. And now it looks like it's going over the different uh, steps in the sequence of play. It's going over system exploitation and development, system development, system exploitation, fiscal structures, movement, system generation, warp point determination. I wonder if these warp points are supposed to be like a worm. Well, no, no, that wouldn't be a work wormhole. That'd be something else. But obviously, it's something that gets you to travel faster than light. Warp line determination. Race militancy. I guess that's when dealing with alien races or something. Planetary populations, presence of intelligent life, atmospheric determination, shipyards and shipbuilding. So this is completely different than the other two. Ground bases, alliances, sh capturing ships, optional surrender, successful rebellions, genocide, hostile non-player race relations. And then it's got a little table this here to show how militant the race is. Hmm. And here's a tech, technology level cost table. It has a cost and how much uh, research and development time you need. It's going over minefields, long range scanners, presser beams. Here's a cost table. Modified tech level chart, miscellaneous creation table, solar system types, atmosphere determination, uh, determining population, war point locations, alien force determination chart. It's pretty detailed. Well, it's going over some of the ships here. Home systems. Oh, this has a bunch of systems, actually. It's covering there. 
Penalties for losing the home system. If a player loses his home system, he has one turn in which to try and retake it. If he does not have control of it by the end of his next turn, the following penalties are applied. The commercial advantages of having aliens is lost to the Imperial budget. All freighters must be routed to another system for their commerce run. All planets make an immediate rebellion check. Interesting. Hmm. This is definitely unique. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Just wanted to show you guys this. If you like the video, please click like on it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.